But now I'm talking to you on conspiracy against God. Conspiracy against God. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Tell yourself, Lord, ah, tell yourself, Lord, there's conspiracy against you. Save me from the hands of the conspirators. Jesus name we pray Father human beings have conspired against you the governments of nations have conspired against you even employing your ministers of renown. This is the work of the devil that is working hard that nobody should go to heaven, which he lost. But the remnant are sighing up to you and say, Father, help for godliness is disappearing. True Christianity is dying. We that remain as partners with Elijah are crying. Arise to our help and rescue because even our lives are not saved for standing for you. But you are the owner of the world. You are the owner of wisdom and power. And we know we are safe in your hands. Redeem our brethren. Redeem sinners in the world from the hands of lions and lionesses, of devils. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm talking to you on conspiracy against God. This has been ongoing. It did not begin now. It began in the garden, first by Satan, who came to the garden of Eden and won the woman to himself, then conspired with the woman against the man and won the man to himself then conspired with the man and the woman to disobey God so the conspiracy against God has been going on from ages to ages Generation to generation, race to race, nation to nation, conspiracy against God. Yes, this conspiracy is anchored by those men that have yielded their 
lives to Satan and are not willing to serve the Lord. Matthew chapter 4. Matthew chapter 4. They have yielded their lives to Satan and are not willing to serve the Lord. In verse 8 to 10, again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou would fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee, hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Satan has approached many in the same way. Yes. Approached many. And they have yielded for material wealth, for kingdom, world kingdom recognition. For power and authority. Among men on earth, they yielded to Satan and bowed before him. And have given up God, but they're still in God. As the story went on, as revealed by the living God, Lazarus Morka of the Lord's Chosen was a minister in Wachma. Satan came to him and said, I want you to be my minister. I want you to be my minister. He said, no, I am a minister of holiness. Yes, you will remain a minister of holiness. Holiness apparently, not a deep holiness. But I would direct you how to preach. And I will be giving you some utterances to make. Then I will upgrade you. I will promote you and make you great. I will promote you. And I will make you great. Just as said to Satan and to Jesus. Jesus rejected. But he accepted. And so. The church now. Has. A form of holiness. But. No real Christianity. God has been replaced with the God of choosing. Up, you cannot see the difference clearly. It's God of choosing. The people were, are thinking it is the Heavenly Father. No, it's not the Heavenly Father. It's Satanic. It's Satan. Otherwise, do you make him so unique, your God? It's Satan. It's just like the Muslim Allah. When a Muslim says Allah, don't think him Allah, which is the name of God in Hausa language. Allah is a demon responsible for the Islamic religion. When a young man in Sierra Leone died, some of you have read the matter. He appeared before Jesus 
the King of kings and the Lord of lords. After that, sitting as a great judge. He was in a queue. When he approached, the, he came into the queue. It was his time. He said, Allah, but Jesus said, I'm not your Allah. I'm not your Allah, rather. I'm not your Allah. And did his hand like this, a demon came out from hell. Written upon him, Allah. He said, look at him. That is the person you are worshipping. That teaches you brutality. Wickedness. Destruction. All the evils you do. I'm not a God of wickedness. I am not a God. I'm not a murderous God. That everything you want to murder. Quickly you want to burn down churches. Quickly you want to show. I am not that God. I am meek and lowly in heart. For God so loved the world. That's me. How do I, God did not send his son to destroy the world. But that the world through him should be saved. But see him there. The Muslim young man. I think Sidi should be his name. Said, but you didn't tell us this. You didn't tell me this when I was still alive. I'm just coming to know this. Yes. Did you care to know the truth when you were alive? Did you call on me and say, oh God, I am in a confused junction. Here is Christianity. Here is Islam. Which one is talking, who is correct? I would have told you. For God has made many appearances. Jesus has made many appearances to Muslims. I would have told you. I would have gotten at you to let you know. You didn't do. It's now it's late. Get out from me and be, and be doomed in hell forever. Wicked people. So you can see that. Conspiracy against God. It's going on. Among these men that have given themselves over to Satan, to worship him. They have conspired. What is their work? To destroy the foundation of Christianity, which is the word. The word of God is life is God is Christianity the word of God they aim at it to destroy it by twisting it by exchanging it by adulterating it by lowering its quality by exaggerating its strength, its coverage, just to confuse people so that they will not be at the word. Then they will miss it because God is exquisite. The word of God is perfect. The word of God is pure. Add not to it that had diminished aught from it, the word of God endured forever. If it is adulterated, it will not live forever anymore because it's not the word. It's not the word. That is it. Maybe you have this eye drop. It is liquid. The manufacturer Major the chemical and the liquid quantity of the liquid it should contain and put it in a bottle. Now you don't want to buy more bottles of the eye drop, 
So all you did is add more water so that you can have five eye drops. When one finishes, you go to another. When one finishes, so that you save your money. Will it work? You have adulterated it. You have diluted it. You have reduced its own strength. It is no more eye drop, although it can smell so. That is what they have done to the world. So that it is no more the world. It doesn't have effect anymore on people. The place of God's world. God is known by his world. In John chapter 1. Verse 1. In the beginning was the world. And the world was with God. And the world was God. God is known by his world. It is the world that lives forever. In the beginning was the world. This world was with God and the world was God. Talking about Jesus. Jesus is the world. He, he came to the earth to speak the world and demonstrate the world. Is the world of life. Is the world of life. In 1 John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1, I read from verse 1 to verse 2. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled the word of life. Can you see? We touched the world. We saw the world. The world of life. For the life was manifested and we have seen it. And bear witness and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. He's talking about Jesus. The world of life. And this world is spiritually given to us in letters. It's as if God broke his body and said, take, eat. The piece of bread is broken to many fragments. You're eating of me. So as you're reading this world, practicing it, you are in me. I am the world. If you reject this word given to you, you have rejected me because I am the world. If you don't read this Bible, it means you have no relationship with Jesus. If you stay too long away from it, you are too long away from Jesus. The world is broken into fragments of letters. But the world is also a person. Eternal person. These people seek to, in their conspiracy, to affect the fragments which composes the Bible, the world, the written world. They want to affect it. That's what they want to do. All for Satan. Who has employed them? Why? For exchange of the glory of this land. For exchange of money, appointment, political position, precedency, for world recognition, they, they affect the world. Check the children there. They affect the world. Yes. That's the evil. Check it. If they give you this eye drop amplified by water, it will not work on you. Don't buy it. It's fake. It's adulterated. 
is diluted. It shall not work on you. It's no longer eye drop. So, many churches are gathered under no more Christianity condition. Because the world has been affected. Conspiracy against God. The world has been affected. They gather under them. Today is Sunday. So, it, it, worship everywhere is going on. But going on in places, many of these places, that there's no longer the word there. They sit under dilution, adulteration, twisting of the world. No life. No effects. That is why from generation to generation, they're still the same. From year to year, they're still the same. The effect of the world, the world gives eternal life. The word gives salvation. It is only by the word that you can know the truth and worship God well. In the book of John, chapter 4, Verse 22 to 24. John chapter 4. The Bible says, verse 22 to 24. Ye worship, ye know not what we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Can you see? There are people who worship. They don't know what they are doing. That's what I'm telling you. They sit under adulterated world. Diluted world. Twisted world. So they don't know what they're doing there. But we know what we worship. It brings salvation. We know we worship in originality for it. salvation began with the Jews. God began revealing himself to the world by the Jews. Jesus came by the Jews. Began revealing himself as a nation. I'm talking about Jews as a nation. And now he said, this is the time that they that must worship God must worship him in spirit. It means you must be born again. Nicodemus, truly, truly I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. He cannot. You must be born again. A man must be born again. So that's what the Bible says. You will worship the Father in spirit. Your spirit has to be quickened. To become conscious of God. To start loving God. To obey God. There must be a quickened spirit. That's the foundation. And the foundation is born again. It's also called new creature. It's called reconciliation with God. It's called adoption. It's, it, it's called regeneration. Except this is done. It will not work. Why? He that is born of the flesh is flesh. Whatever his effort is. He has not gone to be reborn by God. 
as many as received him, gave him power to become children of God who were born not of blood, not of the flesh, nor of the will of man, husband and wife meeting together, but of God, born in spirit. Then they must worship him in truth. John chapter 17. The Bible tells us what is truth. I read verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. That is it. They must worship him by the world. Practicing this word. Practicing this world, obeying this world, and practicing it. That is it. Now, if worshiping God of those who are born again should be by practicing the truth, they aim at distorting the truth, adulterating the truth, exaggerating the truth. Minimizing the truth. Conspiracy against God. That is what is going on now. That is what is going on by great ministers. That is going on between the government of nations and great Christian ministers. That is what is going on in the secret realm between Satan and the great Christian ministers. Who are teaching the younger ones to adulterate this so nobody can worship the Father. No one can worship him anymore. Because which truth? Thy word is truth. But the word has been confused. Truth distorted. Truth destroyed. Truth displaced. No more truth. No more worship. So what they are doing there is not worship. Because it's not in truth, not according to the world. Conspiracy against God. Sinners are saved by the world. And the world remains to build up people, to keep them in total freedom. From Satan, from sin, from sickness, from attacks, from everything. As long as God is the God of everything. He passes every virtue, blessing, authority to you through the world. In the book of John chapter 8. I read verse 30 to 32. John chapter 8. Verse 30. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Can you see what caused them to believe? Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creatures. He that believed. What, what caused them to believe? The world. As he spake the world, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The reason why these churches are not able to produce anything is because they preach, some of them really, by, um, they preach the world. But, and some quickly got born again that day. Oh, who, how many of you want to give your life to Christ? They came and submitted. But no word again to continue with them. What they're giving to those converts is adulterated. Adulterated. What they're giving to those converts are twisted. After you carried out an oppression on a man, you have to give him the drugs of recovery. But you begin to give him fake drugs. The drugs that will not work. 
How will he now say he has been operated? How will he recover from his oppression? He's still under dead. That is it. The, if you continue in my word, now they are in those churches continuing, but not the world, a doctorated world. Compromised world. He has lost his own power. It's no more the truth. Ye shall know the truth. And this truth shall set you free. What sets free is the truth. Where do you get the truth from? It's from the world. Now that you, the world is adulterated, the foundation is out of course, you can't get the real truth. And then there's no freedom for you. That's the problem. No Christianity is a calculated work done by men that God raised up who felt the promotion of God was not enough. They needed that of Satan to upgrade them. So they sold out the truth and Satan gave them adulterated truth. Gave them adulterated truth. They look the same, or the same drug bottle, but not the same quality. Not the same quality. And so it does not work. Hmm. Believers are cleansed and made holy by the world. Believers are cleansed and made holy by the world. In the book of John chapter 15, verse 3. John 15, verse 3. Now ye are clean through the world which I have spoken unto you. But what if the word has been tempered with? How will they be cleansed? What if the word they are teaching them is adulterated? What if the word the preacher is preaching is compromised? Which way will the believers be clean? They will be, they are called believers, but they're still in their sin. Sins are going on in their lives. But they were believers, we're born again, we're children of God. But what about the bleating of the sheep? And the noise of the cows, the mowing of the cattle. If you say you are a child of God, what about the sin and immorality I'm hearing about? What about the alcohol that is going on? But you are an elder in this church. You are hearing adulterated words. So he has no, he cannot cleanse you. In John chapter 17, verse 17, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth, but the word is compromised. How can they be sanctified? If the trumpet does not make a distinct sound, how can the people respond? There are keys or those rather that the that just speaking a voice your voice the door will open that is how they build the security voice they pick your voice and walk on your voice together with the door. That when you just come and say, open, the door just open. But now, 
somebody else comes to tell the door to open. Open. How will the door open since it's not the, vo the voice that is built into the, vo the door? How can Gehazi carry the staff of Elisha and go and put it upon the dead child and you expect the child to live when he does not, he did not have the righteousness and holiness of Elisha? How can the world that they're preaching by that preacher really sanctify you when the preacher is adulterating the world? In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 to 27 the Bible tells us here saying Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the world, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. This is achieved by the washing of water, by the world and now the world is adulterated with much water now the world is compromised the strength is not full anymore now the world is diluted that its conviction does not hold anymore in the hearer how can now they be holy? How can the members be holy? That's it. I'm saying co conspiracy is going on against God. And that by the church, by the ministers of the gospel, ministers with the government, ministers with the United Nations, Ministers with what? For honor. For wealth. For world recognition. Christianity is all about the world. Christianity is all about the world. Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 28. I read from verse 18 to 20. See what the scripture says. And Jesus came and spake unto them saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And let those that hear me say, This is the world. You go, preach the world. You will get people converted if you preach the true world. Then, having them converted, make disciples of them. If they continue in my world, ye shall be my disciples indeed. Then, cause them to continue. And as they continue, teach them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. It's in this way I will be there effecting changes in the life of the people. It is in this way I will be there blessing the people, healing the people, delivering the people, enlightening the people, and raising up sound ministers for my gospel. 
Now, they go and gather people, fake people, because they didn't preach the true world. Those that responded are not true. They didn't respond with the right conviction. They told them that they should come, they would share food for them. That Jesus doesn't want them to be hungry. Jesus wants to give them food. And they came. What did they come for? I said, what did they come for? You preach them the gospel of food. They responded to the gospel of food and have come with their containers. You must continue with that gospel of food. Otherwise, they will go back. You went to preach another thing. You didn't preach the true gospel of repentance and faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. You didn't preach the true gospel of obedience to God, turning them away from the worship of Satan unto God. You, that's not what you preached. And now, you preach adulterated thing and they have come. How will Jesus be there? You didn't obey him. How will Jesus? He said, and lo, I am with you. All the way, even to the ends of the earth. How will he be there with you always? You're not preaching his word. Surely he's not going to be there. You will replace him with idol. You will replace him with charm. You will replace him with Satan. Because if I am your Lord, you will do what I told you. But you didn't do what I said. I'm not your Lord. I'm not. You're teaching another thing. How will the church know the truth that will set them free? Which church did you gather? After the world, the true world or adulterated world. That's the matter. Christianity is all about the world. Teach them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Here is a faithful minister. Paul the apostle in the book of it, uh, um, uh, Colossians. Chapter 1, verse 28 and 29. Colossians. Chapter 1, verse 28 and 29. That is a faithful minister. Faithful. Yes. Faithful ministers. It goes. Whom we preach. Warning every man. And teaching every man in all wisdom. That we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Where unto I also labor. Striving according to his walking which walketh in me mightily. This is what we do. Jesus said we should preach. We preach it. And it is working. It's, it's saving people. It's purifying people. It's perfecting people. To present them perfect before God. For eternal life. It is as you preach the unadulterated gospel. We are kept by the word of God. Waiting for the rapture. We are sustained. That's why you must always hear it. You must always avail yourself to hear this world, to listen to this world, read it, study it, listen to it, avail yourself for it. In 1 Peter chapter 1, 1 Peter, Chapter 1, I read verse 3. To verse 6. 
He led, I mean, if he goes. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. Can you read verse 5? One, two, go. Who are kept by the word of, of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. You are preserved by the word that is preached. And that keeps your faith alive as you wait for the coming of Jesus in the rapture. But you are in a polluted church, in a defiled church where the word is compromised, the word is adulterated, the word is milled down, the word is exaggerated. How will you be kept for the rapture? How will you be fit for it? Which way are you kept? The preservative is not there. It's not the original preservative. That thing will spoil. You will spoil. That thing you want to preserve. See, the preservative is not the original. It will spoil. Because the word you are hearing regularly has been adulterated. You cannot continue. You cannot remain until Christ comes. You cannot remain in it until you die. These people have calculated all these things. Conspiracy against God. Conspiracy. We are in a world of conspiracy to doom human souls. They have collected money for the souls of men. Great men, it is like great men have sold Nigerian crude oil deposit for the next hundred years and they have collected money and shared. So we will see the mining oil, it's not for us. It's not for us. Somebody told me, anyway, I don't know whether it is like that, that the Abuja airport has been, uh, the oil has been contracted to Chinese developers for the next 50 years. They are the ones collecting the benefits. Now, if suppose this thing it was like that, these benefits that the Chinese are paying have paid. Who shared them? Are they really waiting for the use of Nigerians to the 50 years? I'm talking about what great men have done to God and to his church. That they have collected the benefit from Satan and have sold the church to Satan. Well, they are churches anyway. The churches that contracted with Satan anyway. That their masters, their leaders, contracted with Satan for the need, for the lifetime of that man. They have sold it to Satan. Not to have anything true there. The true word cannot be preached there. They will burn them from listening to true ministers. They will burn all the true books, Christian books written. Don't take. They will burn them from attending any true Christian conference. And this is because they have sold them to Satan for all their lives. Even when they die, the ownership is still of Satan except a stronger than them shall come and bind them. Bind the devil and set free those people. Otherwise, doom rests on them. The people don't even know. That's why they're at peace. You're not aware. They're not aware. That's why they're at peace. And rejoice with the diluted Christianity they are teaching them there and rejoice. Hey, glory, we will not pay tithes again. Yes. You don't know you have been sold. 
Ah, glory, we are free to marry our two wives. <laughs> you don't know you have been sold. A doom. You will never see heaven. They don't know. Attack against the world. They aim at the world. Hmm. Youths are attacking it. Youths. Christian youths are attacking the true world. Isaiah chapter 30. I read Isaiah chapter 30 from verse 8 to 11. Now, Go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. And this is, our, this is the time. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. This is a rebellious people. They are lying children. They will not hear the word of God. Why are they not lying? Is palming your hair original? Is it not affecting? Is wearing attachment original? Is it not affecting? Is that the truth? Is that how God met you? You turn the truth of God into a lie. Lying children. Check their fingernails. All those long nails painted, is that original fingernail God gave them? Is it not a lie? Lying children, check their lips. Those painted lips. Is it original? Is it how they live? The lip of a person is by God? Is it not done by them? Changing the lips to another thing. Check their body, painted with cosmetics. Is that the way you are? How you were born? Is it not a lie? Who turned the truth of God into a lie? Lying children. Children that will not hear the word of the Lord. They will not hear. The word of the Lord. They don't want to hear. Now, they don't want to hear. What do they say? Which say to the seer, see not. Pastor, don't be bringing revelation to us. Children, the church fought, fights against revelation. Why? The conviction of revelation is too strong. The conviction revelation gives you is too strong. So they fight against it. Who said to the prophets, please don't receive message and be telling us here. Don't tell me that God told me I committed immorality yesterday. Leave me with it. Don't come and disturb my conscience. If I committed immorality yesterday, yeah, yes I did. It, who knows? Is it not only God that knows? Must we make human beings know too? Leave me like that. Don't be telling me those things. Children, who say to the seer, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Yes, I know. I did it. But don't tell it to me. I'm not in this church for that. If you continue, I won't come here. Hey, if you continue to be telling me, oh, the Lord told me, or you are preaching it, opening verses of scripture to say all immoral people will go to hell, you mean, why are you disturbing me with the doctrine of hell? Come, you don't know other place to preach? Pastor, that you're preaching hell to disturb us? <laughs> Somebody said it in the United Kingdom to his wife. Don't play Pastor Rica's message here. I don't want to hear. 
Because wherever I am, I'm hearing his voice. Oh, don't do that. You're doing this. Oh, no, no, go. You go to here. I don't want to hear that thing. Please stop it in my house. <laughs> you hear? I don't want to hear. Children, it's conspiracy. They mean to root out the truth. They see not, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us small things. Things that will make us laugh. Has the church not employed comedians? To cause the members to laugh, it is conspiracy against God. It's conspiracy. The employment of comedians to the churches is conspiracy against God. The time to preach the word is given to comedians. And when they come to preach the word is 10 minutes. And which word would they preach? If people who have loved themselves to drunkenness. What are you going to say to them? Did not the preacher laugh? Is it after you have mocked God that you want to come and speak? Speak for who again? The man you mocked? The person you mocked? Conspiracy. Prophesy to us small things. Let us laugh. Let our mind, in fact, speak positive. Speak positive. Positive preachers, demonic preachers, they have made covenant with Satan against the world. Again, they go ahead to say, prophesy deceit. Deceivers. Pastor, deceive me. I say, is it not me who told you to deceive me? Deceive me. I like it like that. It, my mind will, like, will be at peace. At least I will sleep. I came from armed robbery. Tell me that it's God that gave me the money. In fact, tell me that you had a dream yesterday that the people, I, I, the people committed evil. So God sent me to go and gather the money and give some to the church and keep some for myself. I will go and sleep. Prophesy deceit. Let me lie. Let me rest. I will use that to sleep. It's going to be my pillow. Verse 11. Get you out of the way. God is the way. The word of God is the way. Get out of that way. Jesus says I am the way. Get out of Jesus. That is what the youths are telling their ministers. I mean, they have gone to all these ministers that will be telling them God is not in heaven. Ah, hallelujah, speak out, speak out. They tell you God is not in heaven. You say, yeah, they should speak on hallelujah. It's because you have told your preachers to get out of the way. That is conspiracy in the youth, among the youth. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path of Christianity. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from coming here. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. We don't want him. We don't want God. We are for new age. We are for new age. We are for Satan. And so they go and put horns upon their head. They meet their teeth, make their teeth terrible. Terrible. They put on every dress. A boy was passing through my house when I was in Guagualada and was wearing a singlet. God is too busy to help you. Can I answer, to answer you? Can I help you? Ah, these people have gone far. Advertisement to set of Satan. God is too busy to answer you. Can I help you? Can a man 
it's a conspiracy. You think it's only one person. The other one is doing it. The other one is doing it. When women started cutting their skirt, you would think it's only one woman here. It is universal. Because they took meeting. Satan and human beings sat down and made a, make a decision. And made a decision that will make women tear their hair, their skirts, tear front, tear back. Whichever one they choose, they can do double. And then satanic men, I mean, satanic women should start. As they start, everybody follows. Tailors, follow. Do it for them. Satanic tailors. Conspiracy against God. To defile the hearts of men. Women are attacking the church by the world. And so their husbands follow. Look at it in the book of Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 15 to 19. Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 15 to 19. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, their wives started to burn incense into other gods. Their wives started. Their wives started to wear trousers. Their wives started to burn their hair onto other gods. Their wives started, the women, to expose their private part in miniscate. They started it. Then the men followed to justify their wives. These preachers who are preaching, no, leave them alone. Their wives are there. How can I preach that when my wife is dressing in that way? How can I preach that when this is what my wife likes? That is this matter. Women. Conspiracy against God. Verse 15. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt in Patros, Answered Jeremiah saying, As for the world that thou hast spoken unto us, in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. I say it's conspiracy against the world. Because that is where life is. That is where God is. That is where righteousness is. That is where holiness is. That is where heaven is. We will not take it. So their children too. The wives went forward. Their husbands followed. Their children too. Then Q. In wickedness. That they will not do the word. But we will certainly do whatever thing. Going forth out of our own mouth. To burn incense unto the queen of heaven. And to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done we and our fathers and kings and our princes in the, pre in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem for then had we plenty of victuals and were well and so no evil we will serve Satan we will get it immediately the benefit is immediate the benefit is on earth we will follow Satan conspiracy. See the women involved. I've told the children. Now see women. See women. All against the word of God. See the dressing of women this day. And know whether they are favoring the world. They are destroying the world. They are never ready to obey. Tight fitting clothing is against the world. Because the word has said don't lay a stumbling block 
on the way of another. Their tight-fitting dress is to provoke immorality. They want to go against the world. What about their dressing? The hair, the thing they put in their eyes, the fingernails. See what Romans chapter 1 says. Romans chapter 1. About this behavior of women. Verse 25. But, verse 25, and who changed the truth of God into a lie? Check their head, their eyes, their ears. Is there originality? Is that how a female child was born out with the pumped hair, the jerichoiled hair, the attachment, the wool, the earrings, the painting of the face, the painting of the lips, the pussycat something inside their eyes, the eyebrow, is that how a female child was born or is born? They changed the truth of God into a lie. Verse 26. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. God gave them up. God surrendered them. They are now in the churches. They are the ones leading them there. People God had given up who will never come to heaven. They are the ones there now in the churches. They are pastor's wives. They are the deacons. They are the ushers. They are the choir members. They are there in the churches. People giving up. <laughs> you, you went and started a school. It's only dismissed people. Drop out sucked away that uh, you are employing to come and work in your school to teach students. What do you think your students will produce? Those who could not finish their school are the ones you employ. See, it's very cheap. If you want to look for those who finish with certificate, it's very costly. You employ cheap, cheap, cheap thing, and they're the ones teaching in your school. Will your children pass through exams it's still fake business they'll be doing there. That's the world. They changed the truth of God into a lie. God gave them up. Is it these people giving up that are now holding the microphone singing for you and you're watching underneath? Ah, she has a fine voice, cynic voice. My me water. My mate, they're the one leading you to hell. Holy Spirit will not inspire that music in your life. The person singing it is singing with the voice of Satan. And God says, he will not hear him. Your mouth is defiled with blood. I will turn my away my eyes from you. Uh, the people God has turned his eyes away that are the one you bring closer to you to hear them. You, even you, God will turn himself away from you because you don't know quality. You're more interested in things than in truth and righteousness. See there, women. Against God. False brethren in the church. Galatians chapter 1. False brethren. They are false. They are not original. They came to confuse the church. Yes. They came to confuse the church. For Galatians chapter 2 verse 4. 
Galatians 2 verse 4. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privily to spare out our liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage. People that are not Christians, they came in to marry our sisters so that they will bring them into bondage. They came in to marry our brothers to bring them into bondage. They're not Christians. They're not children of God. False. All the choruses they sing is false. All the noise they make is false. All the preaching they're preaching is false. Just to present to you that they are, but they're not. They came to spy out our liberty. They came for business. To get business partners from among our brethren and win them. When you now say, bro, how much have we made? He's, he's a sinner. He's a liar. He will tell you lies. Bro, send my own portion to, because I gave money to do the business, send my portion to this account. He might tell you he has sent while he didn't say anything. I will stand on it. I sent it. He didn't send. Bro, come and do this, be the head of this my business. He will run down that business. He's doing it for himself and he's building up another business somewhere. False brethren that have come in. We don't know how they came in. And they pretended genuine Christianity. Asking questions. Answering questions. Singing hallelujah. Giving testimonies. False. To render the church captive to Satan. Conspiracy. It's very hard. You who are marrying, be very careful. There's great conspiracy. It's arranged. There is promise Satan has met for them. Promise. Some of these Muslims, when they want to get information from the church, deep, deep into the church, they pretend somebody has seen Jesus. Hey, they're persecuting me. He ran to this church. Hey, they, 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 they burned up all my things. They did all this one. They want to enter in right inside. They sent him. They can burn those things truly, but they sent him. Don't mind. I will return everything back and add more. Go and tell them. And you didn't pray like Joshua. You think the really convert has come. You didn't ask the Lord. You granted that Muslim. It's a Muslim convert. Even we have fallen into this. Because of our compassionate heart. Our desire to save souls. They have taken advantage of it. They have taken advantage. It's only our doctrine is too hard. So when they come, they cannot, they run away quickly. Because we're too hot. How will you go and hide in an oven? Fire will clear you out of that place. It's too hot to remain there for more than one minute. Praise the Lord. But these churches are plagued by false people. Conspiracy. Conspiracy against God. And Paul said, verse 5, to whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. That the truth of the gospel, some of these women, preach whatever you want to preach, they will not change. They will not change. They will not remove the earrings. They will not stop coming. So that others who come later can see that, oh, we have an elder one here. Number two. Number three. Then they're building up their own. Uh, what do they call them? 
uh, model and what again? Model and uh, hey, you didn't remember this name in Redeem? Classic and model. Which one is which? <laughs> Before you know it, the lower pulls down the higher. All of them are balanced. Conspiracy. Against the church. They are stubborn so that you can learn from them. And you, are, you people are the one taking pastor directly. Me, I don't. You know, me, in fact, it's you people that are taking. Me, I, one, I've taken my decision. That person is a false brother. It's a false sister. Don't learn from him. It's mixed multitude. Don't learn his character. Don't learn her character. They are false brethren. Let's recover and know who they are and get them out. Deal with them. They are conspirators. You who are walking in, among us, behave as we behave. Don't bring another character who will discover you and, and dislodge you. Don't spoil the characters of the people walking here. They are working for God. And we need righteousness, holiness, and submission from them. That is the biblical truth. Satan has done too much. Go and scatter it. And they come in as pretended to be brothers. Pretend to be sisters. By the time the person removes earring and is dressing holy, 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 you to you is a brother. You are, it's a holy sister. Do you know what is in the heart? It's by life. The heart. The fruit of the spirit. That's it. Attacks of demonic men in witchcraft and occultism. In Acts chapter 13, verse 6, Acts chapter 13, verse 6, I read verse 6 to verse 12. And when they had gone through the isle unto Patmos, they found a certain sorcerer a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was by Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul, and desired to hear the word of God, but elements, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, which stood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. And said, Oh, full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. Which is hindering progress in the church. Hindering people from being converted. Hindering people from being holy. In fact, hindering true people to join the church. Hindering them through people to join the church. Resisting truth. Resisting the preacher. Seeking to attack the preacher. Spread sickness. Seeking to even kill the preachers. The Holy Ghost will handle that. I say Holy Ghost will handle that. That is why the Bible says we wrestle. We are wrestling against principalities and powers. Fight! Let not the leaders be dumb dogs that will not back. Rise up! The Lord is with you. Thou comest to me with spear, with bow, with arrow. 
I come against you by the name of the Lord, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day shall the Lord cut off your head and give the bodies of the Philistines to the birds of the air, that all men should know that the Most High reigneth upon the earth. Let the church be prayerful against these evil spirits, evil people, whose own aim is attack, is conspiration to kill righteousness upon the earth. It is conspiration to remove God from his church. It is conspiration by the devil. They are linked with Satan. They are not God's people. Rise up and deal with them. The Lord will back you up. The Lord will give you Goliath. Small David. God will give you Goliath. Small David. God will give you Goliath. The power of the Lord will back your ministry. The power of the Lord will back your ministry. The power of God is backing my ministry. I say all powers of darkness, all contrary forces, they shall bow. The Lord shall break them to pieces. The Lord shall break them to pieces. The Lord shall clear them out. You will be cleared out. I say it. Because we know the conspiracy, you have having with your master the devil to kill righteousness. That Jesus will not find anybody in the rapture. You are not ready to go to heaven and you are blocking others. You can't block them here. I say you can't block them here. The Lord will deal with you. He has promised judgment. We will hasten that judgment by prayer. Yes. Therefore, having shown you clearly conspiration, conspiracy, that you will not make heaven, that the churches should collapse, mighty ministers are making statements of confusion in the church of Christ. The people have world reputation are turning things away from the word of God. They are turning it over to Satan for conspiration. The sparrows have known that the hunters are shooting without missing. We must, they must learn to fly without patching. Since we know the fathers of the faith are selling the faith to the devil, we the younger ones must arise and hijack the faith from them. We must hijack the world from them. Hijack the world. Hijack it from them. By the power of the Lord. Hijack it from them. And pray against them. Pray against them. Pray against them. Otherwise, who will go to heaven anymore? They want to render the cross of Christ vanity. That is it. Keep the truth. You who have a privilege to be where the truth is alive. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 to 7 to 8. Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 to 8. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. You have now received Jesus, walk in Christianity. Walk ye in him. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as he have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving now we are teaching you accept this word release root as a, a, a seed that is planted on the ground release root down so that the wind will not blow you off grow up in Christ send forth leaves produce stem grow up Produce branches for your balance. Maintain the word. The truth spoken to you. Righteousness and holiness. Restitution in marriage, in every field of life. Holy God. Abounding therein with thanksgiving that, oh God, in this dark age, you brought me to a church of truth. You brought me to a minister of truth. Who can have courage to say these things in this generation? Hold to it. Yes. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit 
after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. That's verse 8. Be careful. The world has, the churches have been sold. Many ministers have sold their churches to Satan and have collected glory. Don't join them. They have, they have sold your chance for heaven and have collected glory from Satan. And Satan keeps you in his palace as his property. So don't be there. Beware! Because there are places their ministers have collected glory from Satan. What Jesus rejected, other preachers accepted. Beware! So that they don't spoil you. They don't doom you. They don't send you to hell. They don't turn you to become an enemy of God. Beware. Maintain true fellowship with the true people of God. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. The Bible tells us, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Where are you? Which people do you make your preachers? Do you listen to? Fools who have adulterated the world, you will be destroyed. You are a companion of fools. Which church are you worshipping with? Foolish churches? Which ministers have sold them out? And they are busy clapping for him. You will be destroyed. He that walks with wise men shall be wise. Is it not a wise virgin? The five wise virgins that met the bridegroom? Did the foolish one meet, meet him? Work with the wise, you will be saved. First John chapter 1, verse 1 to 7. First John chapter 1, verse 1 to 7. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the world of life. For the life was manifested and we have seen it. And bear witness and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But, verse 7, everybody, are you there? One, two, go. But, if we walk in the light, as he is, in the light. We have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. We have taught you true Christianity and we are teaching true Christianity. We are teaching the world so that God can be known for God is in his world. Teaching it not just for knowledge but for obedience. Knowledge and obedience understanding and submission. That is the reason we teach it. We're teaching you this so that you should locate that there's still truth upon the earth. The light is shining in a corner. Join the light. Come to the sight of truth. So that you won't say there's no truth anywhere. There's truth somewhere. That's why we've made things clear to you. There's truth somewhere. If you say you knew God, and you are committing sin, you are lying. The truth is not in you. Because God is not a sinner. The word of God is pure. It's perfect. 
undiluted. Try it in the, in the fullness of fire seven times and found perfect. And it makes perfect. It makes perfect. How will you say you know the word you, you, you know him when you are a sinner, a witch, a wizard, occultic, immoral, drunkard? Which, which one knows God? Do you know God? Is God a sinner? Is God dirty? Is God dirty? Then how will you be living a dirty lie? Liar. And be saying you know God. But if we have fellowship with him, yes, the Bible tells us, if you desire the true life, if you desire the true righteousness, then walk in the light as he is in the light. Walk with us in the light as God is in the light. Then you will be seeing purification of your life. The blood of Jesus. Every time preaching goes on. Any time you work, there shall be conviction. Purify this. Stop this. Do this in your life. Improve this. You will be hearing the voice of God through the word of God. Purifying you. Cleansing you from all faults. All sins, all errors, making you perfect for God. That is what the word of God has told us. Yes. Seek counsel. Seek counsel from true men. Watch and pray to see when something is overtaking your heart. Watch and pray. Don't allow as you get engaged in the activities of this life. Yes, you must go out and reinforce upon people who go out. You must go out. The sun shines upon people who go out, but the rain does not destroy the people. The sun does not destroy the people. Don't allow your mingling with people outside to destroy you and remove you from righteousness. Don't allow that. Don't allow that. Listening to me, and let's walk in righteousness and escape the doom that is coming upon the world coming upon the church that their ministers have sold them to Satan. Rise up upon your feet, my brother. Open your mouth and thank the Lord for today. Damnation of false preachers, evil preachers, evil leaders. Jesus name we pray give me that old time religion Father give me that old time religion For it was good for John and Peter For it was good for John and Peter Father, give me that old time religion. Father, give me that old time religion. Mary and Martha. 
for it was good for Mary and Martha. For it was good for Mary and Martha. Father, give me that all time. Father, give me that all time. I need that. Father, give me that. For it was good for Paul and Silas. For it was good for Paul and Silas. Father, give me that. Jesus, give me that. I need that. Father, give me that. It is good for me in Horemore. For it is good for me in Horemore. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. For it is good for me in Horemo. Amen. Now, take yourself to God and say, Lord, this is the part of all time religion. The Christianity practiced by the apostles. Written by the apostles. I want to follow it. I don't want to be doomed. Don't want to join ministers who have missed the way and are looking for greatness from Satan. And so I've sold the church. <laughs>